Hello YouTube, I have decided to take you along with me for a walk. Thank you for joining me. Today I have been in a very pensive mood. My mind is filled with all sorts of thoughts on many different subjects. So let me tackle one right now so that I can move on to the next. I have always had an ambivalence for the phrase sellout. I knew how others would use this to injure merely due to disagreement. Unfortunately, its misuse has drained the energetic vitality it once had. I cannot fathom turning one's back on their principles to win approval, nor can I see the worth in displacing one's integrity and caving in to the demands of the market. It is pathetic what the pseudo-noetic cultural criticism has created, a capacity crowd. How pitiful that encouragement can be given to NBA players to pursue an accolade versus being a man of integrity. Maybe that is asking too much of them, since maybe they are confused about being a man. Could they be conflating being born male with being a man? Yes, I am attributing positive characteristic traits to the word, and not merely aimlessly wandering about the adult male stage of development. Maybe these adult males are confused regarding cultural expectations of manhood, as if it should matter. Yes, it can be challenging if you allow others to dictate your course in life. However, surely you have figured out material possessions does not make you a man. Perhaps corruption marches within as a mechanism by which our disastrous destiny may develop. You are told you are given things. Given things. That your work for what you have received is not acknowledged. You are cared for by a daddy, a Jewish daddy. Does this not make you ashamed of how you define masculinity? The dissemination and distribution of cultural criticism can be a topsy-turvy affair. In this climate, it is deeply disturbing to me how successfully Social media personalities can shame the mere position of being an unwed mother. How they can speak about the mounting violence occurring within the confines of one racial division of mankind. It is disheartening how they can illuminate on the evils of the custodial welfare state, yet not mention the dependency culture that exists for the rich how they can so passionately attack in the name of the people, or is that for the sake of their ego? Yet you cannot rightfully express strong disapproval of men who will prostitute themselves for fame, for bragging rights, and negotiation rights to a more fruitful contractual agreement. It is not enough to slay evil giants of society, want, disease, squalor, idleness, if you are going to pander to ignorance. How can we defend the perverse incentives of materialism and greed? How can we turn our back on self-hate? How can we not cry when we see our fellow man wasting himself away? so that he may submit and kiss the boot of one who cares not for him. The unrestrained greed of capitalism out of control has actually devalued the very fabric of virtue. The pretense that you are men is so blatantly shallow, it makes me want to vomit. <laughs>